Aslam guys, Ifan back again with another video and this video is uh, grade 3 math identifying and comparing fraction word problems. Now this is the first video in a six video part series on the topic of identifying and comparing fraction word problems. So let's get started. Now let's first just do a recap of what is a fraction. Now, when you take an object and you divide that into a number of equal parts, then each part is called a fraction, okay? For example, two by five, okay? Okay, so now let's take a closer look at what a fraction is, okay? So the example that we used was two upon five, all right? Now, the number two in this uh, fraction is called the numerator. And which basically means is how many parts of the fraction that you are you know, you're, 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 you're having. And the 5 is called the denominator. And that means how many equal parts of the whole object that you make. So 5, is, if you have one object, you make 5 parts of, uh, 5 equal parts. So that would be the, the denominator. And of those 5 equal parts, when you take 2, that's the numerator. Okay. And always remember, always, always remember that the denominator can never be 0. Now, question number one. Out of the 12 books on fairy tales, John borrows five. Okay. Now, what fraction of the books on fairy tales did John borrow? Okay, so now let's solve this problem. Now, in the problem, it, it tells us that out of the 12 total books, John had borrowed five. So we can say that John had borrowed 5 by 12 of the fairy tale books, all right? Okay, so question number two. John had found 17 books on wildlife and had brought, out of those 17 books, had brought six of these to the table. Now, what fraction of the books on wildlife did he bring to the table? Okay, so now let's solve question number two. Now we are told that out of the 17 total books, John had brought six. So basically what we can do is we can say that John had brought six by 17 of the books on wildlife to the table. Question number three. Jill saw eight books about the solar system and its planets. Now, these were quite thick books, and so she basically thought that three of these would be enough. Now, what fraction of the solar system books did she borrow? Okay, so let's solve this problem. We have been told that out of the total of eight books on solar system and its planets, Jill had borrowed three. So basically, we, what we can do is we can say that Jill borrowed three eighth or the three by eight of the books on solar system. Okay, now question number four. Jill had also checked out books on land animals and sea animals. Now there were 15 books on land animals and five books on sea animals. She chose to borrow seven books on animals. What fraction of the books on animals did Jill borrow? So let's uh, solve this problem. Now, they, we were told that there are 15 books on land animals and five books on sea animals. So the total number of books on animals, be they uh, land or sea animals, that would be 15 plus five, which gives you 20. Now, the books, uh, number of books that were borrowed was seven. So we can say that Jill had borrowed 7 20th or 7 by 20 of the books on animals. Question number five. John and Tom found a book on Greek mythology and the 13 most important Greek myths. Now this book that they found had 120 pages. Between uh, John and Tom, they had read 40 pages of the book. Okay. Now what fraction of the book did they read? 
Okay, so now let's solve this problem. We were told that out of the 120 pages, John and Tom had read 40. Okay, so we can say they read 40 by 120 pages. Now, 40 by 120 can be reduced by dividing the numerator by 10 and the denominator by 10, and that would give you 4 by 12. Now, 4 by 12 itself can be further reduced. Now, if you divide the numerator by 4 and the denominator by 4, so that would give you 1 third or 1 by 3. So the answer is uh, John and Tom had read 1 third of the total pages. That brings us to the end of the uh, first video in this six part series. Please always remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you.